guys, welcome back to another episode of Southern Extreme TV. It's the middle of turkey season here in my home state in North Carolina and I've got to keep on with these turkey hunting tips for you guys. Um, you guys really enjoy watching the turkey hunting material that I'm bringing out, um, especially the, uh, the tips and stuff that I'm giving you guys. So today, I'm going to talk about something that, <clears throat> in my opinion, is really important to, it's important to know and it's also something that it can be an opinionated type of, uh, I guess, answer. What I'm going to be talking about is what is the most effective or the most important turkey sound um, to utilize and to learn. And in my personal opinion, it is the yelp. And the reason that it's the yelp is because you can yelp really loud or you can yelp really quiet. You know, if it's a midday and you're trying to get that bird, uh, you know, struck up and gobbling and, you know, you're blowing on the crow call and nothing's really working, you can always yelp really, really loud. And a lot of times that'll make that, that turkey hammer midday and you'll be able to make a move and make a play on him. Also, whenever you're in some thicker, you know, cover, brushy area, you can also get down really, really quiet and almost kind of coax that turkey in. Now, a lot of guys like to use a putt and a purr I'm not that big of a fan of it. Um, I've hung more birds up using a putt and a purr than I have anything. Now I will say there is times where a putt and a purr might have been the difference between shooting a bird and not shooting a bird, but more times than not, in my experience, stay, sticking with a yelp and changing your volumes and changing where you're throwing your sound at is probably the most important thing to learn. Um, and you, you gotta get good with your yelp. You gotta be able to learn your tones. You gotta know your breaks. And, and the best way that I can, you know, have you guys learn and to is to listen to yourself. You gotta listen to yourself, number one. And then number two, go to YouTube and listen to li like a live turkey yelp. There's a bunch of videos out there of a live hen, whether it be on a trail camera or somebody filming her, and listen to the way that she yelps um, and, and memorize the way that those, those keys kind of kind of come in, they come up and they, they, they drop off really, really, really sharp. Um, and, and try to duplicate that. And you'll see a big difference when you take that into the field on your next turkey hunt, guys. So uh, my personal opinion, the number one sound and the number one call you need to learn for the spring turkey woods is gonna be the yelp. If you guys can master the yelp, you guys are gonna be a lot more successful in the turkey woods. So hopefully this video helps you guys out and hopefully this video is gonna help put a big long beard in the back of your truck this season. So with that guys, I'm gonna wrap everything up. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All of my information and all of my video stuff uh, that I got on my channel helps me out and really you know, just lets me know that you guys enjoy watching what I'm doing here. Also, before you click off the video, right here in the top left corner, should be somewhere right over in here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date on all the stuff that I'm doing. I've got some big things coming out this summer. I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing, um, a lot of, just all kinds of stuff. Just hit that button so that way you can stay tuned and you will know what I'm gonna be doing. So again, can't thank you enough for watching Southern Extreme TV and until next time, I'll be sure to bring you along on my next adventure.